Hey folks, here we are in Ishinomaki. We're very blessed to be in this little neighborhood. As you can see, some of the houses are completely gone. Uh, these two lots here, three lots, and the one next to it's destroyed. But at, at the same time, we have some that have survived. These people are trying to get their homes together. As you can see them hanging out the clothes. And, and today, we're trying to help them clean out the, the gutters and the sewage system because everything is clogged up with just dirt and gunk and debris. For the most part, the city's come in, as you can see, and, and has cleaned off all the rubble, all the streets. Dude, this is really a miracle uh, from the way we remember before. If you just look down the street, you can see it, it's really clear. The lots here, these lots were just filled with mounds of e either just broken homes or debris. It was not like this before. So the city and the government has come in and done a wonderful job of cleaning up. And now here's the, the, the little things that they're not gonna be coming in to do. And some of this gutter work here. You know, so we're trying to clean out their 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 sewage drainage here that's coming from their home all the way down. And if you look over here, we can see here's the main lines coming out to the street, you see. And so we we've cleaned out all this. It was filled all the way to the top with gunk. And well, if we come over here, you get example. We've been putting all the stuff in bags so that the city can take it away. As there's Junie taking away a bag. And we're just dumping all the bags right over there. Boom. And over here, here's kind of where we started from. Everything was piled about this high. And even higher. And we had to just basically pick it all out. And shovel it, as you can see, there's a loop. Junie, let's get some big crowbars. Just digging it out, and that's what we're gonna do. So, we can see more action over here. And it's like that all the way down. And so, it's uh, the, the family. Let me tell you a moment about the family. This family, they they lost everything, of course. If they had a fishing. Um, this for what I understand and and now they they actually brought in this this uh, trailer here and let's walk this way so they brought in this trailer I actually had it brought in it's set here on the foundation and they're gonna make this a little fish shop and try to start rebuilding their lives and selling fish out of here and, uh, sashimi and, and uh, things like that They got a long way to go, obviously, but they're getting started. They're moving on, and it's a blessing to be here to, to try to help them move on. So they're very blessed. It was really neat because as I was digging over there, after they told me the story of turning this into a fish shop, I was digging, and, and I found that picture right there. <laughs> I found the picture of the fish, and so I put it on the wall for her and him, and when they saw it, she just got so happy, and uh, it was it was kind of cool, kind of a little confirmation that this is now officially <laughs> a fish shop. So it's a blessing to be here. Thank you for your prayers. There's still a lot of work to be done, and so uh, I encourage everyone back home to continue to pray, continue to um, ask that God would send laborers into the field. Um, as you can see, most of the people here from California, different places, but none of us hardly speak any Japanese, so don't let that stop you. Again, thank you for your prayers. We love you. Keep them coming. Jesus' name. Arigatou gozaimasu.